video has been. I started recording at four. It's now five. I think this video came out in June or something. Let's get to the point. I took so many retakes of this video because it was raining and the power went out. I decided I had like so many ideas and everything. In the end, I'm not just gonna post them on YouTube, okay? So if you do really want to see what did happen, what I was doing before, there were so many ideas in the back. But after I scrapped them all out, because in this video I'm going to get to the basics of not adding um, images, but adding sound. And I thought that they were a little bit hard, but now I figured it out. I watched a lot of videos and I know how to add sound to um, p5.js. So it's just adding sound on the blank screen. We're not going to get into like put something better than adding sound. We could do that, but in this video, I'm just going to teach you just how to add sound and um, where to get sound from. I'm going to do an example for it. So let's open up p5.js and I got to do a new sketch. And I'm going to call it um, my first sound. I'm just gonna call it that, not not example. You guys can call it example. So here this is, and actually, if you have not seen it yet, it's um, if it's in the sketch or if you want to add a folder or something, I don't know. I know how to do that, but just keep this somewhere where um you would want to keep it safe and like um useful to your um needs. So first things first um. You can like figure out how you would want to do this, but you see, th this video is gonna be like um, we're gonna be using like different um, like parts of code, and um, we're gonna be using all sorts of different things. So the first thing that we're gonna be doing is um, hold on, I got it. Um, stuff. So one place we're gonna be going to is called um, a place where you can get sound for free. You can join and become a member. I just I I joined and became a member um like four four days ago what? for sound. So we're gonna get sound and um I'm gonna show you guys how to get sound. Image will probably be next. An image might come like June fourth or something. Maybe for um. Once maybe on July fourth, since it's gonna be Independence Day, I could do fireworks. I could try to maybe do fireworks because then we'll already know how to do sound, and then maybe I could also like show you guys how to do lighting and stuff. That's the other part I need to learn. Okay, we learn how to do snow, so we all we so all we so we can just kind of use that in it, but like we're gonna have to push it out. So fireworks maybe might do on July fourth, and that's pretty far away. So I might keep them in mind. You know. Well, probably, but probably I might, um, maybe even make it until I fourth before, because if I choose to put it on YouTube after the court, but we'll, we'll see. Or I could just make it right now and just hold it for there. Or it could actually be a project that I could put on hold. I don't put projects on hold, they just come to me, naturally. So, uh, let's get to sound. One place that, um, I would like you to visit, and, um, I'm not going to come to the sound later, is called, um, Zaplast. Zapplat is where you can download, um, I mean, it's called Zapsplat, where you can get sound in, I've already logged in and stuff, you get, like, sound effects for free, so this is where I'm gonna be getting sound from. You probably wanna download the mp3 file, not the wave one, cause, um, wave is not, um, it's not the one we're gonna be using, okay? We're gonna be using mp3, okay? And mp3, mp3 is media player 3. Which is sound mp4 is obviously video and um i'm not gonna teach you guys how to like make videos or anything in pico.js that's very complicated like animation and rendering but probably next that's just gonna be like um images um so yeah so we're gonna, gonna get the sound from here so keep this tab open or if you want you get, go to zaplat and find a sound file or if you have your own sound file you want to use or if you're just finding like videos and they're not explaining exactly how to do it, they're explaining some things, but not the full thing. This video is useful for you. Um, if you if you're trying to put okay. So actually, I didn't even never I didn't even think that this video would ever even come to life, but it did. Okay, and now I now actually I could even make an um, an image video come soon. And let's get started.
So the first thing that we're going to be doing is um, declaring some variables. Okay, now actually it's not going to look ideal, but um, let me explain. So let's move this along. So first, we're going to declare one variable, and we're not going to just put it anywhere. It's going to declare variable song. I'm going to declare one more variable, which is slider. I want to put a slider because think of it. This way we can kind of control the volume and how the sound is on how the sound is like a slider instead. I mean, even if you have like your own volume up, volume down button, which we all do, this is another way we could control it from the um the thing later. Because this this will control what's coming from our computer or from your device, wherever you are. But we have our own slider to control the volume. So this is all done. We can move along and um keep going. So the next thing that um I want to be doing is in um create canvas. We can actually choose how big this because all we're really gonna be doing is we're gonna make like a sound file. Four hundred by four hundred should work. So I'm I'm not gonna change that. Um. Now one thing is after the create canvas, you have to um keep going next. Okay. Because there's some stuff we need to add. First of all, we have to... Now we're going to use song and we're going to use it for this, okay? So song is equal to load sound and now here um, here is actually what we have to be doing, okay? This is the part where we have to choose the sound, okay? Come here. Now, what sound should I do, okay? I'm kind of going to make it um, a sound where I'm going to be doing coding. So maybe I could be doing a, um... Or I'm going to ask my brother. I was always his name. Sammy, what sound should I use um, for this? What sound do you want me to use? Huh? Voodoo. Tell me. What? Oh, I, but, oh, I have a really good idea. Maybe I could do a bullet. And this is out of interest. So first, you guys can hear this. Three bullets fired into water fast. I don't want it to be fast, though. Medium pace, slow pace. That's better. So you have to download the mp3 file, and I get it, but if you already have one downloaded, you can use that. But if you don't, um, use, use make sure the step is done or for those of you guys who have the step you guys can see but make sure this step is done if you're not going to do anything okay download the mp3 um if you're going to use this um or whatever but make sure you're familiar with it then this will come or if you, if you don't know what to use how to play. so that's my volume is at 100 so that's why okay so this is done don't worry about this you guys can close this thing up okay now you can close the tab for good, but um, there's really nothing you need. Now go to files and go to downloads. Here's the one I was doing. I did the one before, but that one was 409 kilobytes. All we're gonna be doing is um, go to the name, and all we have to do is. Go to rename. Actually, never mind. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about the renaming part. Hold on a second. So you guys can. Or wait, wait, come back, come back, come back. File. Down. What's the name? Then do dot mp3 just to give it a name, okay? If you want to do the full name or something else, just just to give it a name, okay? Now, um, close the brackets. I'm, if you want to be technical like me, or you want to shorten it out, it's your choice. So I should probably shorten it out. I'm probably gonna be calling it um. Danger. 
bullets in the water dot mp3 all right once that is done not sure we shouldn't close this yet now write comma and write loaded so it's loaded now you can close it off now that it is loaded and we're done with that okay now that it is loaded we're going to continue talking about our slider for the volume okay so slider equals now we're going to write create slider create slider and zero one comma zero point five comma zero point zero one And now it's over. I wrote that line of code is anyway. So moving along, uh, we get to the function graph. Yeah, we don't need to worry about this, so move it along. So once we're here, we're going to be using one function called function loaded. And once the function is loaded, there's one thing called preload, which is before. We're not going to be using that, okay? We're just going to talk about function. And we're going to do loaded. And. There's that. Now we're going to be talking about playing the song, okay? And actually, this can work for both ways. This can also kind of also work for um images, except some of the code is not the same, okay? I'll make a separate video, but this is a bit similar to using... um using an image okay i got this from information from an image video but some of the stuff and then i mixed it with what i knew from the sound and then i put them together both should work either way because this is for putting media files in general this is for all media files whether it's an image or sound but um if it's for something else just let me know email it to me so song let's get back to that song and then do dot Play song dot play and there and here like that okay so now there's the function draw there's the background for the background though don't write that well this is what you should write write random open it up two fifty five. So it's background, random, 255, close it off, close it off, and there's that. And move this, one, two, actually no. Okay, and then line 17, our last line of code, should be song.set volume. And then write slider dot value. And what's the slider value? And put that there. Put there and done. Yay, we're done, right? Yeah, I, no. No, don't pay attention. So, like, yeah, we're done. It should work, right? Wait, where's my sound? Why isn't it working? Why isn't bullets in the water working? What's going on? So, let me explain. We didn't have the sound file yet, okay? If you just did all of this, so now you probably need to figure out how to add the sound file which is um easier to do right here okay so um yeah that, that was just intended as a joke come here and there you have three options you can either create a folder or create a file which is um add a folder add a folder name create file but i wouldn't do any of those i would just go straight to upload file next step bring it in here here's the file put it in there it's actually pretty big. It's now like 82.9 kilobytes and it's done, right? Now uh, What if I clear it? Let me hit play Maybe I shouldn't do bullets in the water Wait Okay, yeah, so then just come here Actually, hold on, guys. I, I know what I have to do now. There's there's a way. Just 
you you have to call it the right thing. Control C. Backspace. Control V. And there it is. It works. You, so this way you can kind of like control the volume. This is all the way up or this is less. So it's stop play. But it's pretty quick. It is quick, but you can use it for any sound you would like. Okay, now you know how to figure out sound. Now you're like, but why is this flashing? I know, I know it is flashing because it's, um, we don't want it to be flashing, but I think for the basics, it's fine flashing, right? And if you wanted to stop, just hit stop. So, um, after you, so now you know how to add sound, yay. Um, probably we don't need to worry about the slider as much, but this is just basic on how to add, um, sound. So that you know how to add sound, I think we could use this for, like, other things. Because now that we're at this step, now this is, like, probably step one or two. In my opinion, it would probably be step two for, like, I'm, like, I now I know how to add sound. You, now you know how to sound file. You know, now you should know how to get a sound file, download it, and how to put it inside. You should know how to do that. Um, what to name, um, um, using the load or the preload. Remember, I wrote 18 lines of code. Okay, that's all I wrote. I wrote 18 lines of code. And just 18 lines of code with spaces, I made sound play. Now you're like, we wanted to do one thing and it took us that much code. Well, some of the stuff was already there for us, but uh, I know. But we've written more code than this, so th this should make sense, okay? We wanted to add sound, but hey, there weren't any problems. Besides the flashy thing that did kind of annoy me, but um, it, it should be fun. Now, the background is white. If you want to change it to whatever color you'd like, then make it. But um, I think we did a pretty good job with this. So, you know, good job. Like, we were able to make sound so what do we do with this well this can either be taken with our step and this this could i could create a whole another playlist probably just sound and probably a whole another playlist on everything i've done so far in my other videos but this is actually another turning point in it not after this but after image i will be um uh, that video should come shortly now we don't know when i'll make it but i should actually i couldn't i could actually make it right now I'm gonna do two separate videos, okay? So, I'll see you in the next video, and, um...